Hello, youth of FUMC Fort Worth. Jen Turn is back, ready to bring you this devotional for your Monday morning or afternoon or whatever cat posts these things. Anyway, I have been so captivated by the catchphrase that Matt and Kat and Gabby have been using throughout these weeks that we've been in quarantine. You know them. God is good. God is here. God loves us, and it will be okay. Those are things that have resonated with me, and they are things that I have needed to hear just about every day that we have been doing this. And I have been so grateful for the ministry of FUMC Fort Worth. And as I was thinking about that, I was remembering and reminiscing about what my favorite parts of my youth group experience had been, you know, ages ago when I was a youth and not just the intern. And one of my favorite things was being in the youth choir. I loved it, and it wasn't just about going on choir tour and getting to go to a bunch of cool places. I genuinely just loved the music. It connected with me with my faith in ways that other things didn't. And there was one song in particular that was based off of Psalm 139 that just really resonated with me. And I would like to read part of that psalm to you guys this morning, if that's okay. This is Psalm 139, verses 1 through 12, and this is the inclusive Bible translation, if you care to know that information. Hear now these words. Yahweh, you've searched me and you know me. You know if I'm standing or sitting, you read my thoughts from far away. Whether I walk or lie down, you are watching me. You are intimate with all of my ways. A word is not even on my tongue, Yahweh, before you know what it is. You hem me in before and behind, shielding me with your hand. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, a height my mind cannot reach. Where can I run from your spirit? Where could I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in death, you are already there. I could fly away with wings made of dawn or make my home on the far side of the sea, but even there your hand will guide me, your mighty hand holding me fast. If I say, the darkness will hide me and night will be my only light, even darkness won't be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. God speaks to us through the reading of scripture, and we respond, thanks be to God. This scripture and the catchphrase that your staff have been using are go hand in hand to me. The scripture just reinforces the message that God is good and God is here. God still loves us, and it will be okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to be frustrated with the circumstances that are happening right now. I for sure have been frustrated at least once probably every single day we've been in quarantine because there's been something that I've wanted to do that I haven't gotten to. But what it boils down to is that we're not alone in this. And They don't just come up, they being Kat and Matt and Gabby, they don't just come up with these catchphrases to make you feel better. They come up with things that they believe are true. And I believe that it's true too. So let's say it again. God is good. God is here. God loves us. It will be okay. There's nowhere we can flee from the Spirit of God. There's nowhere that we can go that God will not be present with us. Would you join me in prayer? Good and gracious God, thank you for the reminder that we are never alone, that there is nowhere we could go where you can't find us. God, allow us to express whatever it is that we're feeling right now in productive ways that are helpful. God, remind us that it's okay to not be okay and that we can come to you in whatever form we are in. You accept our mess, you accept our broken pieces, and you make us beautiful. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.